preservation of individual lives and the life of the community is only justification for taking a life. This was the motive behind waging war or for dispensing capital punishment. In the Old Testament, there were at least 16 crimes which called for the death penalty. Premeditated murder, kidnapping, adultery, homosexuality, incest, bestiality, disregard for personal authority, cursing or striking a parent, offering a human sacrifice, false prophecy, blasphemy, profaning the Sabbath, sacrificing to a false god, magic and divination, unchastity, the rape of a betrothed virgin. These crimes were all considered a threat to the individual and a threat to the community and the, and the cohesiveness and survival of that community. And so they were all punishable by death. And you and I can be thankful that with Christ, we've received mercy. We're spared capital punishment for all of these crimes. Or else, many of us would have faced the death penalty a long time ago, right? 